Hi, this is a, a demo of a feature I've been working on in Planck to add brace highlighting to it. Now, it's a very simple feature, but it's kind of something I missed uh, that you have in lines, REPL. Um, and what I'm talking about is if, you, if you're if you entering a form and you, you want to make sure that it's closed properly, so like if you take a vector um, and do like that, the cursor will hop over and back. It's really nice. I like that. So I added the same thing to Planck. Um, just kind of a, an expected thing in my mind to have it do that. Um, and one thing I decided to do um, is I, I noticed in um, lines REPL it must be a fairly simplistic algorithm because in this case here a, a closing uh, bracket will match that thing that's inside the string there even though that's not really the right one to match. So what I did in Planck was since I have the reader available um, I decided to make use of it to, to look for Kind of like well-formed forms, if you will. So that that makes it real easy to to match that beginning thing properly. Um, and then another thing I I did, which uh, it it's kind of a uh, if you're down on a, a multi-line form, if you will, and line, um, it can match things that are on the same line that you're on. Um, but if I want to close this form completely, um, you can kind of see it pauses there, but it can't hop up to the previous line to to do that. So um, in, in Planck, I have all the lines available uh, in the code, so I can um, use the cursor control VT100 to move up there and back down. Uh, and I, I think that, that kind of helps a lot when you're enter entering a big multi-line form. You can kind of see um, when you're finished with it. Uh, so I hope this, this is uh, going to help make it a little bit more comfortable to use, a little, little bit nicer to use. Uh, this is all in an experimental branch right now, and I'm kind of working through making sure it has no bugs. Uh, all right, thanks for watching.